Hello, welcome back. Last time you must have seen that we were able to create this portion. So just to save time, I have created a uh, rest of this. I can tell you how you can create quickly by pausing this video. So, so that you have the same structure or a similar structure as I am having. So what you have to do is uh, simply just click on this feature, right? And all of these items have an option called as clone work item or create a copy of work item. So I'll create a copy and I want existing links to get copied so that whatever new feature is getting created, it is getting created as a child of this main one. And even if I want the child items, I can click like that. So uh, let's say I want to uh, create a feature for this website for let's say contact us page, right? So I'll go here and say that contact us feature. Let's say that's a feature. So I'll just save it and let's see how it comes. So I'll run this query again. And I have something called as contact us and it has copied the user story, which I can modify now users should be able to get the information on contact us page. Right. And, and I'll talk about some main fields uh, on all these work items so that uh, that that can help you because that has helped me so far. So first of all, I'll tell you to click on this button so that you have a better view of the screen and I can show you the editor. What is the query I have written? So the important part in this query is you have to select this, that it is a tree of work items so that you see like that. And there is a parent child relationship and I have selected at Epic level. Basically Epic is at the top and then we have the further categories. But if you don't want to see like that, you can uh, probably, probably select something else over here. For example, I can select instead of Epic, I can maybe see user story because the Epic is same for me. So if I do that save query and go back here, you will just see the user stories, right? You don't see feature or you don't see Epic, right? So if you want to see those things because uh, they are just for tracking purpose, so you can do the changes accordingly, right? For example, here, if because we saw that Epic is same for us, right? So instead of selecting Epic, we can select the feature. Right? So it depends that who is the stakeholder, right? A product owner may be interested in knowing the status at the feature level that how many stories are complete. You might be interested only in task, right? So we got this structure. So now let's pick one by one, right? So what is this area? So this area stands for like, for example, there can be uh, different teams. For example, there can be a UI team. There can be a services team, which is taking care of uh, just the API portion, right? There can be a database team or there can be a foundation team, which is taking care of infrastructure, right? Or now all these uh, softwares are in cloud, right? So there is a team which set up the foundation. They take care of infra. So they, they will have different tasks compared to what the delivery team is having and other teams are having, right? So all those things comes here and I'll tell you how we can uh, define that. It is in project settings where you can have various areas. Uh, the one I, then you will see those drop downs here, right? And this is iteration and in somewhere it is called a sprint, like in agile scrum, all these things vary, but you can select like this iteration one, right? So this may be, we are doing in current iteration. And you can set the dates from the project settings here, like when till from when the iteration will go and when it will end, or if you want to move it to the next iteration, suppose this is not completed, right? So it can be moved to the next iteration. So this is the feature level. Similarly, these some of these fields are common and these tags are there. You can make the best use of the tags. For example, if you have automated that story, you can have a tag and you can query later that whether those user stories are automated or tested uh, like that, right? So th these are some common things like the story points when you are doing the test estimates, you give them here, right? And even you can have the links, right? You can add some PR also as well. You can see here so that uh, when the development is done, you can look at the PR for that and know that, okay, what all changes have been made. And so that can help you in deciding the uh, testing part as well, right? 
then you create the tasks under that user story and you define what you will want to achieve in the task and here you can give the estimates and all and all all these things are common and even the task have the tag and this is an important uh, feature here called as follow so suppose if you want to track that somebody is changing this acceptance criteria right you maybe somebody you have told that ba and want to work with them so that they change it timely so if you press this button if anybody does any change on this right you will get an email so this is a important field generally whatever user stories i am working on i click on this button so that if anybody is making any change uh, we'll know right and in the previous video we have created test cases so this is important sometimes people don't use this and then the tracking is very difficult and this will be proved very good in the later videos where you'll see that we'll create the test plans and all right so you should always in the user stories you can always click on add link and use this link tested by so this will help you in mapping the test cases to the stories basically requirement right and even we have the bugs also linked here as a child right and to bug you can link the test case as well like which the bug is linked with the user story as well as the test cases and you can even have related links as well right that uh, this user story is uh, related to which all fields right so that can help you right so these are some of the important fields uh, in this and i'll show you bug as well which is one of the important things that testers use right so there is already a heading called as uh, reproduce steps so maybe you can add your own template right like actual result and expected result or suggested result i would say and you can before that you can write the steps that what you were doing so that it's helpful for the people right and they have given this enhanced rich text to use here right we can add smileys generally you don't need all this but some of these things can help you you can mention people here that is a good functionality even in discussion right for example when you write at the rate so you will see the users which are present over there because i am alone in this uh, project right i have not added anyone so that that can be added over here and here you can have add the attachment to your bugs and any related links for example this might be failing some multiple user stories right so you can link that there and this is the history like who has made the change when so whatever change you will do so for example here i can let's say server error bug suppose so if i click on this save button and then those changes would be reflected here so anybody does any changes that would be reflected here so even by mistake if you change something you can maybe bring back looking at this information right and it tells you that who has updated what and again like if you want to create a similar uh, bug right all all things are already there and if you want to see it on a full screen you can just simply search this bug id here so if i type 6 right it is coming like this and i can create a copy also of it like create a copy of work item so and if you want to include the existing links or not if it is on the same user story maybe you can include that otherwise not so this way we can create a bug which is similar to what we already had so you can have a template and create a copy of it so that you need not to write the same things again and again so this is a tip to save your time in this so we have covered maximum of the things right for related to the uh, work items so the main thing is query right so this query will help you to keep your project organized you can have various queries just for the bugs we'll cover the queries part in another session but this is how the tracking and the look and feel of uh, this it it looks like here like so this is how the feature user story uh things looks like like you'll see in any project the thing you have to mostly taken care of is attach your bug as a child item to user story it's a good practice but you if you have a better one you can follow that one and attach your test cases with the link tested by it has an advantage we'll see in another video thank you for watching if you have any doubts just let me know